first off, congratulations on this film. It was incredible. Like, <laughs> I you. was literally freaking out. It was <laughs> so good. Um, and I really, really love the theme of kind of um, reconciling with your past and your yeah. pain. I think that was so important and it really resonated with me. I think Thank a you. lot of people will also find it resonates with them. Um, you just got a standing ovation at South by Southwest. Like I talk know. about how emotional it made you. Oh, man, thank you for that. Um, I, it was very overwhelming. Like this film, I've been bruised and battered and emotionally, you know, just torn up by it. And I've had to say goodbye to some of the most amazing opportunities as an actor to kind of stick with this and birth this little gremlin of a movie. And, and you know, we went to South by, we went with the film in our hands because we it was so fresh. We just finished the sound and the, the picture. And, you know, to be gone from a dark editing room into this huge kind of like the world, I was feeling very raw and um, people were so kind and they were whooping and hollering and and it was it was probably the most incredible experience I've ever had in a cinema period. And it happened to be my film, which was mad, um, but uh, truly humbling. And it won the audience award, which was crazy. Um, but, you know, yeah. Yeah, and, and in terms of your first thing about trauma, thank you for seeing it. One of the first quotes my producer, producing partner Joe gave me was an Indian philosophical quote mm -hmm. called, the pain will leave you once it's finished teaching you. Yeah. And I was like, that's going to be the core tenant of this film. You wow. Yeah. yeah, I definitely felt that. Yeah. Um, the action was in, in like another aspect that was absolutely incredible. Like it's amazing seeing <laughs> you in this light. Um, talk about the training you endured and your, transforma and your transformation. Um, the training was tough because I was s spinning so many plates, you know, it's like learning my lines, you know, but, you know, doing all the duties that a director has to do uh, on an island during a pandemic uh, with a very limited budget. And then, you know, having to cram in choreo. So we do that in the morning and I, I made it tough on myself because um, I wanted to kind of hold the shots for as long as I could sometimes. And as he gets better as a fighter, we, we cut less and less. So you really, it relies on a performance really, you know, to hold the camera and, and how do we fill the frame with background and keep the energy going and keep the camera moving. So that was a big, big process. And, you know, I was eating sweet potato, salmon and lettuce for three times a day for nine months. And that's it, the same thing, you know, sometimes cubed, sometimes in a strip of salmon, but that was it. Um, and that was tough. But I wanted him to be this kind of like, you know, this skinny shredded underdog that could pose as a waiter. He doesn't, you know, he's not like bursting out of his uniform and you, you know, you genuinely fear like, is he gonna make it? Can he beat these guys, you know? And, and, and that for me is like, that's a true origin story of like what a hero should be. Oh. Someone that, you know, is facing formidable opponents and you think, how is he gonna get the tools to do this? No, oh, absolutely. Yeah. And then, I mean, even just filming itself, Talk about your broken hand, literally yeah. filming through that. Yeah. I mean, like, how did that happen? Like, what scene? Hey, um, well, it started with my, I, I got a bunch of broken toes. I got my foot stamped on in a stunt session. And that was messed up two weeks before shoot. Um, and that's, so, you know, when you're stopping on a dime and doing choreo and you just, ah, it's like very painful. And then the first fight scene we had, uh, my, by accident, my co-star snapped my, snapped my hand and I'm, um, they call it a box, a boxer's fracture or something. Um, and my hand just started ballooning. And we carried on filming the whole day because we couldn't lose that shoot day. Um, and then I, I got on a, a private plane because we had to keep this um, COVID bubble, um, you know, secure. Got put under, put, got a screw put in it. And this doctor's like, you know, you cannot do any, put any weight on it, you, you know, no more than like two pounds of pressure. Uh, there's a there's like a screw in there and if that screw bends we will not be able to pull it out it'll be like pulling out a bent nail out of wood and i was like got you doc copy that and then we go straight back to the action scene oh, um and uh we had to tweak some of the choreo to be one-handed which when i watch it i'm like oh man i could have done that so much better you should have seen me in the stunt room but it worked it's like you know by any means necessary like the guy yeah the Oh, absolutely. Um, with all that, is the success even sweeter knowing how much you've endured? I think so. I mean, you know, there was times when everyone around me, even my nearest and dearest were like, you've gone insane. Like, you know, it was, it, it, it went from being a passion to an infliction at some stage. 
Um, but I, you know, I don't know if it's madness or what, but you, you, you have to stick by it. You know, you are the mother and father of your own film. Mm. And, 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 and I had to ferociously protect it. And um, I learned a lot about the business, the industry, about the politics of it all. And, and, and we've come out, we've come out victorious. And that's thanks to Jordan and Universal and, and, and all the incredible souls that helped me make it. So I'm, I'm lucky.